If you've been thinking about starting your own blog, but you feel a little overwhelmed by all the technical stuff, don't worry, you're not alone. I remember staring at all those web hosting options, wondering if I was gonna break the internet just by clicking the wrong thing. But here's the good news. Setting up a blog today is easier than ever, especially if you're using WordPress and a web host like Ionos. In today's video, I'll walk you through the entire process, from buying your hosting to writing your very first blog blog post. We'll keep it simple, but take our time and break everything down step by step. No need to rush, so let's get into it. Now, if you're ready to go ahead and start your blog with Ionos, go ahead and click the link down below in the description and choose a hosting plan so you can go ahead and follow along with me step by step. All right, the first step is choosing where your blog will live, and that's what hosting is. It's kind of like renting a space online so that your blog has a place to stay. So just head over to the link down in the description to look at the current WordPress Ionos hosting plans. Now there's gonna be several different options when you do that and it'll bring you to this page right here. And at the time of recording, you can go ahead and get started for a dollar per month for hosting, which is an incredible value. So if we go ahead and scroll down just a bit here, we can go ahead and look at the three different plans. There's the start, the grow, and the boost plan. So you might be thinking that the dollar per month plan is the cheapest, least feature rich plan, but it's actually sits right in the middle. There's just running an insane deal at the time of recording, so I would act fast if you're watching this. So for this dollar per month plan, you can build one website, you get 50 gigabytes of SSD storage, comes with 15 gigabytes of RAM, customizable updates, you can create five email addresses, you get a free domain, free SSL, site analytics, SSH, SFTP, WPCLI access, vulnerability scanning, caching plugin, Jetpack backup, and a $55 credit to use on Fiverr, which is really cool. So all you need to do is go ahead and click on add to cart, and then the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and and choose a domain. So you can go ahead and start searching for your domain now, or you can go ahead and search with AI. So go ahead and just follow the process to get signed up. Once you pick your plan, Ionos will walk you through choosing a domain. So think about what your blog is gonna be about. Then try to come up with something short, memorable, and easy to spell. When you find a domain that you like and it's available, go ahead and add it to your cart. So now that you've got your hosting and your domain all set up, the next step is getting WordPress installed. So WordPress is the platform that we're gonna use to build and manage the blog. It's super popular, free, and very beginner friendly. So once you go ahead and log into Ionos, this is what your dashboard will look like. So we're going to go ahead and click on websites and stores. And I'm going to go ahead and create new website or store. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on create WordPress project. So WordPress will take just a couple minutes to install. So go ahead, sit back, enjoy that cup of coffee, and WordPress will be ready in just a minute. Okay. And as you can see, it did not take long. So we'll go ahead and click on go to the new product. And for or here, we'll go ahead and just click on this website here and click set up website. We'll click on start WordPress installation. Okay, and after just a couple minutes, WordPress is installed. So we'll go ahead and click on launch WordPress. So here you have a couple different options. You can either do it with AI or do it yourself. So for now, we'll go ahead and just do it ourselves because you know it's not that hard to do. So here we go. We are currently inside of the WordPress dashboard. And right now this is the Ionos site assistant. But if we come here to the dashboard, this is what your WordPress dashboard dashboard will look like. Now, once your blog is live, one of the first things you'll want to do is make sure that it's secure. That means switching from HTTP to HTTPS. And don't worry, you don't need to know what that means to set it up. Ionos includes a free SSL certificate with their hosting plans. This is what turns your web address into a secure version. And it shows that little padlock icon next to your domain name in the browser. It also helps with search rankings and makes your site look more trustworthy to visitors. So over here in WordPress, we'll go to settings and general General. And here, as you can see, we have that HTTPS here and HTTPS here as well, which is exactly what we want. So now that you're inside WordPress, which is where you'll spend most of your time going forward, this is your blog's control center. From here, you can change how your site looks, write new posts, upload pictures, and pretty much manage everything. So to do that, we'll come over here to the left-hand side. We'll go to plugins, just hover over that, and then click on installed plugins. If you don't recognize or don't think that you will need any of these plugins, you can go ahead and delete them. So I'll just click this button to go ahead and select them all and we'll go ahead hit delete and then click on apply okay so now that we have those plugins deleted we'll go back to settings general we'll double check that we have the https and here this is where we can change our site title and our site tagline down below we can go ahead and change our email address as well as our date and time format that we'd like and when our week starts on this all looks fine to me for now so we'll go ahead and just leave that as is and just make sure you go ahead and hit save changes if you went ahead and made any changes we'll go over here and we're 
we're already on settings. From here, you can see permalinks on the left-hand side. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And you just wanna make sure that you have the post name selected there. Now let's make your blog look like, well, your blog. WordPress uses something called themes to control how your site looks. Think of a theme like the clothing your blog wears. It doesn't change the content, just the style. And to do that, we're gonna go ahead and go to appearance themes, and we're gonna add a theme and we're gonna look for the Bloxy theme. This is my personal favorite theme. It's also lightweight and very easy to use. So we'll go ahead, click on install and we'll click on activate. It's gonna then prompt us to click on the Bloxy companion. So we'll go ahead and do that as well. Now inside the Bloxy companion, you have this starter sites right here. So from here, you can go ahead and get a starter site that you can completely customize going forward. And this just serves as a really good starting point to get a professional looking website with little to no effort. So up in the categories here on the left, we will go ahead and select blog. And then as you can see, there are some free options. And then there's this one pro option here. So for this example, I kind of like the looks of this one. It looks light and kind of fresh. It's called tasty. And yeah, this looks like a fantastic blog. So I'll go ahead and close that. And then we'll go ahead and import that. And we'll go ahead and select that as the child theme. Click next. We'll select Elementor for our editor. And those are fine. So what this is going to do is going to install and activate plugins. So it's going to install those plugins. We'll go ahead and hit next and install. So this is going to take just a minute here. So after that's done, we can go ahead and see what our new site looks like. All right. So we can go ahead and view our site. So we'll go ahead and open that in a new window. And now we can go ahead and see that this is our website. So if you see up here, this is how you can tell what, that you're on your website, but you're logged into WordPress because you have all of these options up here. And as you can see, it looks really good. Now, if you're not starting a food blog, well, then we're going to need to change things up. Now, WordPress on its own is powerful, but plugins are what really bring it to life. These are little add-ons that can do everything from boosting your SEO to backing up your site automatically. Here are a few must-haves. Yoast SEO or all-in-one SEO. These help your blog show up in search engines by guiding you to use better titles, descriptions, and keywords. Contact Form 7. This lets people reach out to you through a simple form. Great for feedback, questions, or just staying in touch. Updraft Plus. This backs up your site, so if something ever breaks, you can easily restore it. Akismet. This keeps spam out of your comments. Limit login attempts. This adds a basic layer of security by stopping people from trying to guess your password too many times. Complains. This handles cookie notices and privacy stuff. It's helpful if you have visitors from Europe or you want to stay on the safe side legally. All right, your site is starting to look good and it's time to start filling it in with content. Start by adding a few key pages if you don't already have them from your starter site. So to go ahead and add those pages, we'll come over here to pages and I'm guessing that we'll already have some of these pages from our starter site. So as you can see, we have this about page, which is in Elementor. So if we go ahead, we'll click on view. And then here we can go ahead and see this is the about page that came with this starter site. So what I like to do with starter sites like this is we'll come back to WordPress and we can click on edit with Elementor and we'll open that up. All right. So now we are in Elementor and this is the page builder. So we could go ahead and edit everything within this page. So again, this gives you just a really good starting point and you can click on any of these elements within the page and change this stuff out. Now we have other videos on this website to show you how to use Elementor. So go ahead and search for those, but it's pretty intuitive and it's really just a drag and drop page builder. That's really fantastic. So you would just come in here and edit all of this to fit your own website. Now, if we come back and we go ahead and look at this blog up here at the top, we have home recipes about and contact. Now, if you're creating a food blog, then recipes might work for that page, but this is essentially the blog function of your website or what WordPress calls posts. So if we come back to WordPress here, we can see recipes and this is the posts page. So again, if you're creating a food blog, then recipes might be the best name for that. But we can go ahead and edit, quick edit that. And if this wanted to be called blog, we would change that to blog. And then we would change the slug to blog as well. And we'll click update. And now if we go view the site, we can go ahead and see that that now says blog. Now to write your first blog post, we're going to go to posts and add new. Here you can add a catchy title, write your content and toss in a few images. So to do that, we'll come back over here to WordPress and over here on the left hand side, we'll go to post and here we can go ahead and click on add new post. Now you can create your posts with Elementor or the WordPress builder. So again, this is what it looks like in the WordPress builder. Here's the title we'll go my first blog and then down below. This is where your blog goes. Now, if you go ahead and press slash, you can go ahead and open up different blocks so you can insert images, headings, image galleries, lists, quotes, archives, audio buttons and more. And there's also more tools over here on the 
other side. So we'll go ahead and click publish and then you'll have some different publishing options. You got visibility so you can make it public, private or password protected. You can publish it immediately or schedule it. You can add tags in a category, but for now we'll just leave that blank. But again, if this is your blog, you're going to want to make sure you do that and we'll go ahead and click publish and we'll go ahead and click view post. And here you can see my first blog and it's got that stuff there. And just like that, you've got your first blog post. Before you start shouting from the rooftops, it's worth clicking through your site in an incognito window to make sure that everything works. Check the links, scroll through the pages and see how it looks on your phone. Once you're happy with it, start sharing it. Post the link on your social accounts, let friends and family know. And if you're on Instagram or TikTok, add the blog to your bio. Blogs grow over time, not overnight. You've officially launched your blog and that's a huge deal, but it doesn't stop here. As you keep writing and posting, your blog will get a better sense of what your readers enjoy. Now, if you want to get deeper dive into traffic stats, tools like Google Analytics and Ionos' own dashboard can help. You'll start to see what content performs best, where your readers are coming from, and how they're interacting with your site. So starting a blog might seem complicated at first, but once you break it down, it's really just a bunch of small doable steps. You really don't need to be a tech wizard. You just need a little bit of curiosity and the willingness to click around and try stuff. So if you've made it this far, well done. You've just taken the first big step into carving out your own little space online. Now go write something cool. And if you want to get started with Ionos, we'll have a link for you down in the description below. This is an affiliate link, which means that we earn a small commission when you use it at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue to create free content just like this. So if you end up using it, we thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on this channel, we make videos on how to create websites, explore different website builders, discuss domain names, and so much more, so be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you here in the next video.